how to fix the belly pooch. This is for both men and women, but uh, definitely women who've had children. That pyramidalis muscle there on the very, very bottom, that's something that can get very lax because regular uh, ab exercises really don't target or train that. It takes some very definite focus. So I'd like you to lie on your back with your knees and your feet parallel to the floor and put your hands on your hips just like I'm doing here. Focus mentally on contracting the low abdomen and holding that tight. Now I'm lowering the right foot and everything is initiating, engaging, and finishing with the lower, lower abs, okay? So you've got to really think about only your abs are doing the work. Hip flexors are going to wanna to take over, which is why I'm not going down very far. That's uh, something when you're doing leg raises, okay, these are called cannonballs. Um, so notice that my feet aren't going down close to the ground. That's because I'm making a concentrated effort to, to fire up the muscle fibers in the low abdomen. Um, all of the attachments, uh, that pyramidal is holding that in mentally as you're doing all of this. How do you hold that in? It's a mental picturing of that muscle pressing down. So here it is. You're picturing it pressing down and in. We're going to repeat again lowering the leg, letting the muscles stretch, they're lengthening, and then they're contracting to bring it back in. It's all in your brain. If you're just doing movement, then you're not doing it correctly. You've got to be trying to connect to those muscles. So here I'm going left to right, focusing on just a little bit different angle. Go ahead and put your hands down to your side. We'll do some baby reverse uh, reverse crunches where you're just lifting that pelvis off the ground trying to contract the low abs as well as you're gonna hit the upper abs too but I'm not going all the way up until now that we've really fired it up roll it down nice and slow and then again breathe out as you come up I want you to get your stomach as small as you can get it. you're pulling that pyramidalis and all of those really deep muscles you're tightening them pulling them in and you're just really controlling, mentally thinking of everything in that low abdomen getting smaller, smaller, smaller. A lot of focus here before we move into um, basically their bicycle kicks, or but these are stability ones where we're really focusing on the lengthening between the hip bone and the rib. Okay, in the, in the leg that's extended. Now here, make it harder. Really stretch that distance by putting the arms over the head. Now you don't want to bring that knee too far up past your, your hip there. Um, keep it kind of around a 90 degree angle. So now we're going to go into ice cream scoops. This is a hugely important one for that lower abdomen. So you've got to picture all of the air blowing out, making it as small as it can, pinning your belly button to your spine. Notice how I'm keeping that ice cream scoop shape the whole time. Don't go down all the way. And then when I curl it in, I'm keeping that C shape and I'm contracting as tight as I can right there and blowing all the air out of that stomach and then we're just going to do full these are called cockroach rolls and so you're focusing on engaging every part of the abs you should just be feeling so tight right here keep focusing on belly button pulling into the spine keeping those low abs engaged so now we're kicking the leg out as we come up you're going to definitely get some hip flexor in here but now we've got everything fired up that we should be not leaving the low abs behind that pooch that just on um, many people just pokes out right well if there isn't the body fat there then it's actually the muscle has not been trained or taught to hold in tightly this is a huge reason i do endorse women who've had children um, after having a baby it is very wise to wear a binder you've got to help those muscles relearn how to hold in so now we're just finishing out this, this workout here and we've got everything fired up with some faster bicycle kicks. Now notice I'm not bringing the upper abs into it too much by putting my hands um, by my elbows. Uh, well, now I am doing an isometric crunch. But before that, it was all about keeping it in the lower abs. And that's a, a big part of it. So going back to it, focusing lower abs, picturing those low abs just sinking down, 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 down. Everything is just tight. You should just feel really awesome and then we move into the upper abs notice how my head is staying high picture an orange underneath your chin don't make orange juice keep those elbows nice and wide your eyes should be fixated on the ceiling we're just doing a few rounds of this keep it nice and tight if you need to go slower that is okay 
but you've got to just keep the focus mentally. Focus, focus, focus. If you lose it, I'd rather you stop doing the exercise because it's pointless just to do movement. If you're going to train those very deep muscles, then you need to be connected. It's called mind-to-muscle connection. So now, lying nice and flat, um, go ahead and make your ribcage as big as you can and then blow out all the air. So making it as small as you can. This is called a vacuum. So you're trying to push that down and then filling it back up with air. Vacuum, so rib cage should be up big, full of air, and it's nice and small. Now, for those of you who perhaps have some scar tissue there, perhaps you had a cesarean section, definitely massage that uh, scar tissue. That's gonna help a lot to help loosen that up. Turn over to your belly, stretch it out, uh, and go ahead and do this three to four times a week.